probably going to record the fucking dashboard. <laughs> Hello people of the internet. Uh, I should apologise because I didn't do an update, did I? Yes, we've been doing quite a lot of stuff. We've been really busy, if I'm completely honest. So that's the reason why there's been no kind of updates. But as you can see, stuff's kind of happened in here. It's got a bit more full. Um, but things are progressing, obviously, with GFP developments and personally with the kind of vehicles. As you'll see in this video, we have done stuff. So uh, without further ado, let me uh, show you what's been happening in here. Before update on everything else, I thought I'd show you the bathroom. Uh, I'm unsure if when we did the last video update, we showed the door being bombed as usual. But check this out now. It's now a nice place to poo. When I was moving all the stuff from the other workshop, I noticed that I had a heck of a lot of retro car magazines. I think it was about three years worth of um subscriptions the old retro cars when it was actually good a couple of retro fords um so i was going to just chuck them away but i thought you know what let's uh let's make the poo room nice um also an old feature that when my car was uh in sort of standard body trim i, ju I think i just restored it so it was early 2000s that would have been about 2004 2002 2004 something like that obviously got us at santa pod and things um, I love this car. A good friend of mine um, owns that still and built it. But yeah, yeah, my dad had one of those as well. So it's kind of a bit of a homage, the old Capri. So yeah, the poo room. Okay, apart from the obvious stuff you just saw there, we've added some more racking because um, I've got more bits and pieces to come over from the other workshop. The Capri sold. Yes, I sold the Capri. Uh, reason for selling it? just weren't it wasn't using it and if i'm completely honest i kind of fell out of love with her i uh, it's been 11 years it's, it's been a long slog but it's, i've only used it for four of those 11 years and it, it, she deserves to be used so yep she's gone to pastures new um and obviously i'm on lookout for something else but my daily's been in here because i had to do service and a load of work on her um good old boss very rare car now these are and uh, it's a kia sportage early one with the uh, shares the oh, Mazda Bongo platform, FE3 powerhouse motor, which hopefully in future episodes you'll see more of. Uh, not the car, those engines. So yeah, quite a rare motor, but I've had to do some bits and pieces servicing, uh, new brakes, uh, pads, discs, etc. So this generally just sits outside and just ferries me here, there and everywhere, and the dog and the caravan. Uh, anything else? What's been happening? Right. With the impending new project, I need to get the baby lathe sorted. So this thing, uh, I got basically got given it, and I shoved it in the corner of the old workshop and didn't use it. So of course it started rusting up and everything. So now what I've got to do is kind of get it all cleaned up, um, which is going to be tonight's job, um, and get this bench sorted so then I can start actually using it. It's not really powerful to do some major kind of turning down or anything, but what I need it for it should do. I've watched a few videos and everything, so it should sort it. So, yeah, you can see that. And we've uh, made a bit of a feature wall with broken engine rocker covers. The beast. Well, so in this video, you will see we went to Retro Rides and we did the hill climbing her again. This time with better tyres. And that's made a massive difference. Um, there is a problem. The clutch is about at it still because I'm not bothered changing it. Uh, and there's a major boost leak, but hey, if you watch the video, the later part of this video, you will actually see it's uh, pretty fun anyway. Um, but yeah, with this vehicle in, it makes it look a bit more full. Um, so yeah, there's still a bit more tying up, and I've still got more stuff to bring over, more tools and everything for in here, but obviously... You saw the lift before. We've now wired in some plug sockets. Um, she's properly wired in as well to the power. The bathroom's all done now with a mes little mes area on top, a um, bit of storage. But yeah, this net, this thing is kind of, it's earning its keep now. Um, so much so that this will be torn down again. Uh, I noticed when I had it up in the air, the back inner sill was not looking great. So yeah, she's going to have that ripped apart. So this, this complete side is going to be coming off so yes um, but that's kind of it in here obviously there is a new project outside Gregor bought himself another Land Rover so um, but that's up to him if he's going to want to start filming it or just put it together and do whatever he wants to do with it 
Uh, as for myself, yes, since the Capri went, I will be buying something else. And I'm going to look at something else tomorrow, which today's Monday, 7th or 8th of September or 6th of September, something like that. I don't know what the date is. Um, so yes, I'm looking at something else. Not too dissimilar to this technology-wise uh, when this was original. Uh, but you'll see, I'm going to keep it under wraps. But it's for another build. But I'm buying a good car to start with. I'm not buying something that needs a lot of work. Um, like I did when I bought this 20 odd years ago. So I'm going against why I sold the Capri. Because the Capri was too nice of a car. But I'm buying another nice car if that makes sense. But anyway, I want something to do over winter and it kind of makes sense. I've still got the midget to do, but I need another shell for that. And I'm kind of putting that project on pause because I, I want something. You'll see. You'll see. Anyway, so obviously enjoy this video of us doing the hill climb at Retro Rides Gathering 2021. See you soon. So hope you enjoy that bit of footage from Retro Rides Gathering 2021. It's been a long time coming and I am going to upgrade the car this time because it didn't really perform as it should have done. Clutch was slipping a bit. Um, on the last two runs, she really struggled to light the tyres up, again because of the clutch. Uh, with the running boost, I shouldn't be running a stock clutch anyway. Um, and this front suspension still needs a bit more tweaking. I'm thinking just going coil over with that now because uh, they do do a conversion kit for the MG BGT. Um, so yeah, apart from that, Hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you in the next one. Cool.